freeze to death. Hello everyone, welcome back to the third wasteland. Come on, I'm ready to go. Alright, alright, I'm here with the actor. Gone faster. Who's wandering off? As usual. Well, on to report to the marshals. Nice to see the city back to life, huh? Yeah, people were shopping and building. Well, rebuilding. Tell me it ain't true, Rangers. You worked out some kind of shady deal with Brigo? Bullshit. McTavish took the fall for his boss. Ain't no way Brago isn't balls deep in this mess, no matter what he says. Sure. And what about the part where you killed that fat ass Lipinski? He knew you'd let Brago off the hook, didn't he? Probably tried to stop you so you shot him dead. He was kind of looking for a fight. No. It was Brago or him, and you took the wrong side. I thought I was pretty clear about how all this was supposed to go down. Real clear. We're done here. I'll find some other way to take down your pal Brago, but really? it won't include you. You know where to find the door. Whatever. Maybe some other time. Well, yeah, that's uh, kind of bullshit. Maybe if we had gone for the Save Delgado deal. Oh well. Uh, what do you mean? What do you mean the save Delgado deal? The the option to tell him that is the deal that save Delgado. Mm. Oh well. Think we're high level enough for the clones now? No. Didn't think so. Let's go to the museum. The fucking news car even calls them off duty, which means they clearly were not doing uh, official work. Mm -hmm. They started shit of their own accord. Huh, that's the thing I can interact with. Oh yeah, boy. With it, but we're here now. Came here for every class trip we ever had. Is Buchanan a man? <laughs> <laughs> kind of funny. Hmm. <laughs> I have a cat mewing to be let in. You know, I get a feeling not all these animatronics are animatronics. But then again, I've never liked animatronics. Yeah. So, you got mechanics level 3. Nice. Lord. Well, and it's my pleasure to welcome you to the Saul Buchanan Colorado Heritage Museum. You're about to embark on a journey through history as we share with you the people and events that made Colorado what it is today. 
Our new and improved animatronic mm. exhibits will bring history to life as you learn about the rise of the Patriarch, the <laughs> unification of the Hundred Families, and their battles against the Monster Army and the Plains Gang. The staff of the Colorado Heritage Museum asks that you do not interact with the exhibits. Ready? Let's go! Yeah, that's why I need to get more points in weird science. <laughs> Is uh, it the weapon I found? No, I'm gonna look in a sec once I let this cat in. <laughs> Why, hello there! My name's Old. What's that got your attention? Brainwave to stabilize. Okay. <laughs> I'm in a conversation now, by the way. Mm. Oh, so you are. I'm not sure if you can join it or not. Not. Me and my Apparently friends not. here, dedicated, telling the story of old Saul Buchanan and the refounding of the great state of Colorado, which is just the first step in Saul's plan to bring back the good old United States of America. Now, just to stroll from stage to stage, and we'll tell you the story along the way. It's as simple as that. Any questions before you go? Great. Yeah, no, but... Then, youngest son of the Buchanan clan. Hmm. Brave survivors of the fall of man. Baby 10 to 14 by 10. 14 to 12. Well, I'm just going to... Well, I don't know. On the other hand, hmm. we're just fighting people right now, so, so ballistic weapons better. Hmm. Oh god, what is that sound? And why do I feel the urge to shoot someone? Oh boy, what a man! The truest of men. Please let me leave. Then came the gangs of the Eastern Plains. Hoping yeah, I think the center place go. <laughs> no, please stop. Oh God, we can hear it even through walls. Make it stop. Ran, I blame you. Don't worry, I blame myself as well. Hmm. What is going on? Thank you for this mistake. Ran, do you even see what I'm doing? What are you doing? You don't see that? No, you're just standing there. Huh. No, I had pulled out my weapon and was, and was pointing it at you. <laughs> well, what could possibly go wrong? Oh boy. Sure you save beforehand. That's the plan. Well, you know, I'd rather actually load in first. Oh, 
right? Those, the finest budget accommodation sound like a bit of an oxymoron. Don't know, don't wanna know. Oh. Okay. Hang on a sec. Mm -hmm. uh, we should probably top off our health as much as we can. Yeah, maybe. So, like. Hmm. Velvet. Sacramento, California. Sacramento, California. Do you Whatever. know where you are going to? Do you wipe the things that wife is showing you? Home again, home again, juggity juggity jug. They must never know. No one must ever tell them. I don't think I have anyone with sneaky shit for. No, you don't. God, the greatest mind of a generation thrown down the gathering plants. So I'm just gonna do this instead. God, the greatest mind yeah, of a generation yeah. Don't mind thrown us. down just the gathering plants. I don't like the excessive amount of health they have. That might help. Mm -hmm. I would have just. Well, you don't have a gun, so. I, yeah. I would have just shot the nitrogen tank. Like, that was my only gun. Yeah, having a low ammo, valuable weapon as your only ranged option really limits your ability. Get down. That cost the game. Also, that that was a waste of AP. No, changing weapons doesn't cost AP. Uh -huh. Getting down does. Yes, but it increases your aim and, and your evasion. Yeah, but then it won't be able to shoot. Want to be in cover. Under <laughs> both frozen. Yep. Oh, no, velvet so far. Velvet so far back, she can't do shit. Just shut the door, throw it. No. She'd have to get, she'd have to move, go into sprint range to get in range of the turret. Oh.
and get the feeling that Frozen lowers same. Uh, what? Okay then. I can sorry, the what now? Shrink grenade, obviously. Bonus to evasion, minus to damage. Lovely. That problem dealt with. a bit of a bad situation. Every time we do this fight they seem to have something else. Ah oh, man, it happens. At least it doesn't seem to last very long. <laughs> okay. Thanks, game. Sounds like you're kind of fame. Ish. I was about to say that they that the their guns didn't seem to have very good aim, but I let you in then you want. Let you in you want. Gotta love cats. 
right. You're welcome. I'm surprised I didn't hit the cat. There's no friendly fire on this body. Oh uh, yeah, it's just that the friendlies can hit us. Because of course. Fucker. Once again. Sounds about right. Oh, excuse me, what I gotta do with my cat again. Let's see, what's my debuff this time? Minus hit chance, minus crit chance, minus evasion. Wonderful. Oh. Both my characters have level ups, so I'm gonna do that real quick. Ready to continue. Scan. Assault rifle. Reactor cool. Appearance on road, scientist outfit. Because of course. Picking six, really. We have here. Oh, just some ammo. And what's all this stuff you found? The pulse gun assault rifle. Nice. Mm. 
9 to 10 times 3, 10 to 13 times 15, 15 to 5. It's a slightly shorter range, but overall better stats. I would have picked the battle rifle. Seventeen to twenty-five. Five four, ten point five. Eighteen to twenty-six. That's annoying. I guess you find the chaotic mess of function, drop tall Madrid sprint out, and perfect journals, and dog ear books. Uh where you fold the corner of the page down. Hmm? You sound confused at the term dog-eared. Uh, oh, so that's what it means. Yep. Notes are scrolled upon them in a wild, childish hand. A computer awaits a button press. Begin the experiment. The computer analyzes spot sensors as large, large volumes of data fill the screen. A small te thermal printer begins to spew out reams of information on laden paper. The text is thick with mind-numbing scientific jargon, charts, graphs, cryptic, electrical, and anatomical diagrams, and some printouts, reference books, and notes on the table. The titles of the textbook stand out. Cloning in our time, dream or reality, robotics, cybernetics, and cloning. The future is now. Yeah, yeah, no kidding, no, no kidding is clones. The list continues, but one component remains the same. The name on every title page. Professor Irwin John Finster, PhD. Every ranger knows the name of Irwin John Finster, the director of the infamous Project Darwin, and the old enemy of the Desert Rangers. Ross's tenant, Irv, has some explaining to do. I don't think he's alive enough to do some explaining. No, all we killed were clones. Fair enough. And we just got an objective to confront Irv, so... I don't know. Second, I want to know what those platforms do. Those what? Those platforms. What platforms? You know, the ones where I stand on and... They generally make it so you can interact with whatever they're connected to. And Lucy got radiated did when I activated the experiment. I'm not sure if that actually meant anything, but... Uh. Oh well. Time to see if we can fin find Irv, I guess. Alright, I can pick this look now. Well, let's start to... It's crazy woman! Yeah, exactly. So, what'd you find in apartment 3? Was he making bombs like I said? <laughs> uh, it's even weirder, Tanta. Weirder how? <laughs> Trust us. Don't ask. Like, just don't go in there until we find him. Oh, his security deposit's not gonna cover the repairs, is it? <coughs> no. If he wasn't in his apartment, then he's probably at the bookshop in Market Square. Look for a skinny guy, always wearing a lab coat. Yeah, Let me know what we happens. know. What's going on? An asshole. Oh, yeah. We opened the door. He said, "Fuck off." We're not in there to loot. Here, however. It's wolves. Hmm. 
I guess you don't have mechanics five. Uh, don't think so. Let me check. No, I got my chance. Oh well. We can come. Well, we'll probably end up going back later anyway, so. Let's see. That's the, the, best place. the best room in the building. Indeed. Also, probably specifically Ross's place. Either way. Well, I know where to walk. Where to go if any for cats die? <clears throat> that, that's cruel, Ryan. Besides, it's, go, mean, it's going to quickly hit the point where we don't need to be bringing the cat along. I mean, I hope I don't need to... Uh, ...tame more cats. But they're really nice and they keep bonuses. Yes, but they clearly can't keep up because they have no armor. Well, Ras can't... Transcat can keep up because she doesn't have a high level of animal whisperer yet. I really need to left that trade for her as well. Out of the way, kind of, not really. 